They were the stories that changed history. It's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. An assassin's bullet struck the president once, twice. It's a great day as a thankful people let loose their pent-up emotions. And behind many of those stories were three little letters, A-A-P. If you're thinking, what's that? I don't blame you. Because for years, these guys have been working quietly behind the scenes to help journalists get their news. AAP stands for Australian Associated Press, and it was founded in 1935 by this guy, Sir Keith Murdoch, father of Rupert Murdoch, founder of the News Corp media empire. He realised that it wasn't possible for each newspaper to get reporters to the scene of all of the big news stories, so he started what's known as a wire service. Wire services or news agencies have been used for almost 200 years by newspapers and later radio stations and TV networks. They employ their own journalists and photographers to report on stories and then sell the words and pictures to newsrooms around the globe. You see, while lots of journalists wish they could be everywhere at once, unfortunately, they can't be. So wire services give them instant access to stories, photos and information that's trustworthy. And that can give journalists more time to focus on their own reporting and investigating. NASA is taking up... Even we use wire services here at BTN. How else would we find out about chocolate fashion parades and... llama racing? Since most Australians stopped getting their news from these, news wires like AAP started providing words, photos and videos to news websites too. But even online, many news organisations have been struggling to make a profit. And in the past few years, hundreds of Australian journalists have lost their jobs. Now, after 85 years, AAP has announced it's closing down for good. Part of the problem is there's so much news and information available online for free. But experts warn we shouldn't always rely on that information because of the spread of fake news, which has been known to make its way onto proper news sites. And some reckon it could happen more often without wire services that check their facts. But whatever happens, it's the end of an era for Australian media and it's got many wondering what the future of news will look like.